Hello students, welcome back to the lecture on operations management. In this short video we will learn the concept of productivity. Watch the illusory picture. What do you see? Do you see a young lady or a senior woman? If you see both, which one will you choose as the right answer? Confusing isn't it? Choice is the starting point of confusion. Have you ever got confused between wearing a shirt or a trouser for your work? Hopefully not, for there are no choices. Operations managers have to make several right decisions to offer a product or service that will provide a favorable customer experience. Sometimes there are more than one correct decision. And many times it becomes difficult to distinguish the right from the rest. Under such circumstances it is common practice to have an objective signpost. One such signpost is productivity. Productivity is the amount of output that can be realized using a set of inputs. Numerically it is expressed as the ratio of the output to the input. Hence, higher the productivity better is the operations performance. An airlines that can comfortably fly more people for the same cost as better productivity. The most popular input considered for computing productivity is labor. Number of staff needed to fly 1,000 guests in a day can be a productivity measure for an airlines. This is also known as single factor productivity as it considers just one input factor, labor. Wait. Can we replace people with robots and claim better productivity? This question cannot be answered with simple labor productivity. We require a robust productivity measure that will include more than just one input factor. Such a measure is known as multi-factor productivity. A multi-factor productivity will consider several input factors including labor. The other factors can be capital, energy, material etc. A word of caution, before computing the output-input ratio we need to express all the input factors in the same unit of measurement. Your instructor will explain this to you during illustration. 